All right, so I am Soulmass218, or you may call me Lux for short, and I am joined by Titanus Nix, if she would like to introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Titanus Nix. I am a, a speedrunner and a Let's Play streamer, and today we're going to be doing a race of any percent normal mirrored mode for Shadow of the Colossus. And joining us today on commentary so that we don't need to talk while we're concentrating on things is Zelcade. Hi, I am Zelcade. You can also call me Zell. Um, I don't speedrun this game, but I watch a lot of people speedrun this game. Perfect. That's all we need. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get this started. We're going to be doing mirror mode, which we have to start from New Game Plus in Shadow of the Colossus 2018. This is the remake. So let's go ahead and go into New Game Plus. Load up an empty save. Okay. And I am waiting on the mirrored mode option whenever you are ready. It's after New Game, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. So it would be after New Game. You can click Normal, and then it'll take you straight to it. There it is. All right, I'm sitting on Mirror World as well. Um, who wants to count down? Zell, count us down. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, runners. Let's go. Good luck. All right, so we're going to be starting off the game going toward the first Colossus, which is Volus. Or lovingly named in mirrored mode, Velav. Um, I have mirrored names for every single one of them, so uh, Lex, would you like to introduce them as their correct names and I introduce them as their uh, mirrored names as we come to each one? That works for me. I've already <laughs> messed I've already messed up exiting the temple because I'm on oh, mirror mode. No. <laughs> so the the whole uh, the premise of this race between us is uh, Nyx actually runs this category and is very familiar with this category on mirror mode. And I have zero experience with it. I, I do not like mirror mode. It messes with my brain. And I quite frankly I quite frankly hate running mirror mode. Uh, I, I only run any percent normal. That, that's my my jam. Um, so well, I know you have done mirrored at least once. I did it once and you before. You did pretty good too. I did oh, it I once the, before we proposed this. Before we propose this, and then as soon as you did that, I went, hey, let's do a race and submit it to a marathon. And I said, sure, why not? Let's just do it. <laughs> well, our times are incredibly comparable to each other. Yes. Because, well, oh, I'm I am, I am the much faster one in any percent, just normal. Uh, Nyx is much faster than me in mirror mode. So <laughs> it kind of uh, it kind of balances out. And here, I'm just going to do this. I am already getting memes on the climb. <laughs> I I got memes on the climb. Oh, I got memed on the launch too. Oh no. The little launch over to the the other thing. There we go. Okay. All right. So it, it's evening out. It looks like. Yeah. Yeah. So I definitely. have now entered into Valis's arena. I missed my first whistle because, of course, I did. Uh, but it doesn't look like he got too far, which is good. And we'll let Zell describe this fight. So yeah, what we're looking for here, uh, which is backwards from the any percent normal, uh, we are going to stab the Achilles heel of the Colossus, wait for him to drop down and present oh. his beard for us to grab onto. Then climb up the beard to the head, where you see a nice glowing sigil. Um, much like an eye in Legend of Zelda, this will uh, be the weak spots for all of the Titans, for all the Colossus that we are going to be fighting today. Dallas on normal should take three stabs uh, to the head to be able to defeat, Ooh. and then we are done. Somehow I managed to scooch my way into a plant. I didn't think that was at all possible. I didn't think that was possible either, but somehow you did it. Somehow I did it. Um, a plant 
is a technique that we like to use, which is essentially just a positioning on the Colossus uh, that allows us to not get shaken out of the positioning that we're in. Um, it can vary in size of the hitbox for where you can get a plant on these, um, but almost every single Colossus has one. All right, we so are waiting for the death spaghetti. I had a pretty decent Valus I was able to get on during the cutscene, so... I ended up running too far forward during said cutscene, so I ended up running at his hand, which was not fun. <laughs> it happens. That's a difficult uh, cutscene to really maneuver. Because mm -hmm. you can't Especially see yourself, injured. really. Yeah. And I, I always manage to end up on the back of his leg instead of on the side. So my trajectory always gets knocked out of place. I'm which on is the way. unfortunate, but it happens. I'm over going over the bridge to get to Quadratus, the second Colossus. And, Our uh, lovingly named Quaterdoc. Quaterdoc, yes. The yes, mirror. that is his name. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be doing a trick that you see in speedruns, which is jumping off of this bridge above the Colossus to trigger the cutscene. <laughs> And I'll actually land right on top of the Colossus, skipping the steps where you'd normally have to be down on the beach and shoot the feet uh, to get the Colossus to lower its leg, and then you climb up the Colossus. We're not going to do any of that. Because who wants, who wants to deal with sand when you can just jump off a cliff? Yep, I'm just Sand's jumping just off the cliff. gets everywhere. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm already on the Colossus. Dang it, Zell. Now we all hope for uh, plants on Quad because of the massive amount of shakes that this Colossus does. Uh, but otherwise, it is uh, mostly the same strategy here. Just grab and try and stab the head. Then we move to the back and repeat that where uh, Quad's tail should be. Oh no! Meme plants! Meme plants! Why? I got meme planted as well. I got a meme plant and had to deal with a shake and then didn't get the plant after. Oh no. Come on, Quad. Be my friend. Be my friend. You're supposed to be one of the tutorial bosses. Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> it's every single time. It's always quad. It's fine. There's so much rubber banding that can happen on the later Colossi that even if I get a decent lead going on these first few, um, I could very easily le lose all of it on just that, one of them. That is very true. Especially on mirrored mode. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Luckily, I did manage to get the cycle stabs on Quad's butt. Um, Zell, would you like to explain what cycle stabs are? Uh, cycle stabs are getting... Um, I believe it's when you've gotten a plant and you just stab as quickly as possible uh, through the cycles of raising the sword and jabbing it back down again, correct? Uh, sort of. It's sort what of? we do is we, we let go of the the grab button and then re-grab, and that cancels the animation of pulling the sword back so we can immediately start stabbing again. So it's it's very quickly getting stabs in as opposed to having to wait for the sword to be pulled back out every time we need to charge a stab. That explains some of my poor times then. <laughs> <laughs> but cycle stabs can only be done on specific uh, surfaces, so you can do it on Quad's back sigil, you can do it on Gaius's tummy sometimes, um, and then on Kurumori. Yeah, you have to basically you have to be at, at an angle for it to work. Mm-hmm. 
It, it really only works on strange inclines, which I don't 100% understand why it only works on strange inclines, but I know when to use them. That's what matters. <laughs> exactly. We know when to use them. I am almost to the water to start swimming for Gaius. Excuse me. His name is Gaiag. Gaiag, yes. Gaiag. Oh, the horse has decided that rocks are not okay today. Yes, yes, Agro, continue. Agro, Agro yes, please. please. Yes. Agro, why are you doing this? Rocks Agro, are very yes, scary. Yes, please, continue. Yeah. Continue yeah. everything you're doing right now, babe. <laughs> Thank you. That was interesting. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> did you not let her autopilot through the canyon? I did, but she was just like, no, I like this rock. Have you seen this rock? It's a very nice rock. <laughs> very Sometimes nice Argo likes those rocks. I don't know. Is this your boulder? That's a nice boulder. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, going up the bridge. Hopefully I don't miss this jump and have to swim all the way back. Hopefully uh, you do. Please do. <laughs> That Give would be me, pretty awful. Get me back. <laughs> get that, me back in the race. I think you would take you would take the lead if that happened. Uh, <laughs> I think you have uh, better times on Gaius than I do. Maybe, but this is also mirror mode. Gaius isn't really affected too much on mirror mode. Like once you're on Gaius, it's really not that big of a, a change. Alright, I've already got my bow out because I want to shoot the tummy. I'm starting Shoot now. that Tommy. Uh, and while Lux is going through this, I will explain the tummy shots. Uh, so, the reason that we shoot at Gaius' tummy, there are actually two reasons. One of them is that it just makes him, like, aggro onto us a lot quicker. Um, and another reason is because as we're shooting him, if you pay attention to the uh, health bar, You'll see that we're slowly just diminishing tiny itty bitty bits of pixel health. Uh, but what that does it is, is it allows us to understab the head sigil a little bit because it still counts as a full amount of damage by the time we get to the belly. Um, it doesn't matter as much on Gaius other than just being able to get off the head as quickly as possible. But that kind of um, pixel health for different things will come into play a lot with later Colossi. I almost messed up jumping over to the belly, but I got it. Ooh. Oh, you do belt strap, don't you? Yep. That is one of the first instances of uh, the physics abuse that you are going to see throughout this entire race. Uh, using the hang time and the motion of the Colossus arm to launch from the sword to Gaius's belt there. And you're going to see another version of that in just a second with me doing the cuff strat. Now, normally you can, uh, there is a big disc in the ground uh, that you can have Gaia strike and that would break his uh, cuff to allow you to climb up and that is the intended strat. Uh, but we like to save some time so we just uh, don't do that. I'm waiting for Gaius to not shake around, or to stop walking so that I can get on his head and get the plant. Yeah, getting planted on the head is very difficult. I was not able to get it, but my Gaius is down now. Yeah, I, I have learned to stop trying to just rush uh, because it ends up getting me more time loss than just riding out on his back for a minute and letting him shake around so that I can get the proper animation. Yeah. Which I just got right there. So I just need to wait. Different runners will have different uh, setups and different preferences of how they want to tackle each Colossus. Um, for Gaius, I, I'm okay with taking a lot of risk there on the head. Uh, like Nick said, they are not quite as okay with as much risk. There's going to be other ones later where I'm going to be doing safer strats and Nick's is probably going to be going for something harder than me. It's all about which one we're more comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Gaius just, if you can't get a plant on his head, you're essentially just wasting time at that point. And I would, I have lost so much time trying to just flail around and pray. Um, 
instead of just waiting just for an animation cycle, which will save me a ton of time in the long run. Now, all of that can be negated by the the best strat for Gaius uh, being... Oh god, Space Jam. I can't remember the name of it for some reason. <laughs> uh, because whenever you do Space Jam, he's already in that animation that you need him to be in by the time you get to his head. Because you don't have to climb on him. You're just on his head. But the thing uh, is neither one of us know Space Jam. Yeah, so. sp we don't know Space Jam, but we also Space Jam would be completely different in mirror mode and harder oh, to that's do. True. That uh, is true. So yeah, we're not gonna do Space Jam. Oh goodness. I am struggling with this belly. Yeah. I Thank am... you for getting good footing, Wander. You I... Butter Toes McGee over here. <laughs> I'm good lord, he's down. <laughs> I'm entering Phaedra Arena, but you know me and Phaedra, so um, <laughs> this could be where you catch up a little bit. Could be. Now, what animal do you think Phaedra represents? Because it Horse? differs from everybody that I talk to about it. I always say a mix between a deer and a horse, so I call it the deer horse. She's a horse. She's a horse, and Agro is her girlfriend. A, a, a good lesbians. a good friend of mine calls Phaedra a seahorse, and I kind of see that a little bit. I see yeah. a major Kuzco energy from Phaedra. I think <laughs> she's a llama or an alpaca. I should not be going for leg strap, but I am. Are you trying to do the launch or? Just no, just a regular strat. leg strat. Uh, please do one more turn, thank you. And I fell off. Cool. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Please continue. Continue doing that. I mean, what? Good luck. You're doing awesome. I would never wish harm upon my friend. There is not harm. It's just inconvenience. Inconvenience. Yeah. I'm in bad animations now. Now I'm getting the oh, walks no. forward. Not the walkies. Uh, 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 this might be okay. Oh, this might oh. be okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I have been known to still fall off at this point, so. <laughs> I mean, I, I do have a clip of getting bucked off of her head, even though I was in a plant, so... I, I have experienced it before. I have a clip of getting launched off of her head. Yep, that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. She like glitched out or bucked or something, and I just went flying. Yes, exactly. I'm like, I thought I was planted. What <laughs> happened? This game works sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. You know, so, some, sometimes it doesn't like to, though. At least, you know, I think in the... 60 FPS PS5 version has basically been negated, but you remember Phaedra Butt Glitch? Oh no, it still exists in PS5 version. Oh, it does? It. Oh yeah, it's killed my run before. I haven't <laughs> experienced it in the, this version, but... I, it, I've seen it once. Only once, thankfully. Was that once to you? <laughs> oh yes. Oh no. <laughs> it was a very good run up until that point. <laughs> Phaedra has been known to make or break runs often. Uh, I see Nyx is on the leg now. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Definitely one of the uh, the reset points in, the, in many runs. Yes. No. Oh, oh my god. That How? was so clutch. How did I you get that? I love you, Wander Magnet Hands. Zell, explain Magnet Hands. <laughs> so, Magnet Hands uh, are what, exactly what they sound like. Wander's hands are almost magnetically attracted uh, to the Colossi. So, even when you're far away and you think you might not be able to grab in real life, uh, Wander can just, you know, stick out his hand and zoop over to a certain point. 
and you can grab on. Um, and that is part of how the game engine works, to be able to grab onto the Colossi at various points. Um, and just, just grabs and sticks. Yeah, it's, a, it's part of just making the game a little bit more forgiving. Kind of like say? Coyote time in a platformer. Yeah, exactly like Coyote time in a platformer. Would you say that the Force is strong with this one? Yes. We've made so many Star Wars references. Uh, I'm going into Avion and I, I have a bad feeling about this. I believe in you. <laughs> um, the wing drop isn't any different in this. Other than the fact that you're on the other side, but... Yes, I have to hold the opposite direction when I drop. Uh, well, it's totally not different. <laughs> it's not different to me because this is what I run. <laughs> I, I, I am at a slight advantage, but I'm also doing worse than you right now. Well, I'm going to go for wing drop no matter what, so we'll see what happens. I normally don't do wing drop. Ooh, nice parkour. Um, I normally don't do wing drop unless I see the, the wing go up, which will make more sense in a moment. Um, but there's also wing drop you can do on wing down motion. And that I have zero practice in, and I'm not very good at it. Um, I'm still going to go for it either way, since I'm ahead see at this point. <laughs> I have literally never gotten an upwing before on Avion. Really? Not once in any of my playthroughs have I gotten an upwing. It's it's literally 50-50, so that's quite surprising. I know. That's what shocks me. I have no idea how to get an upwing, but at this point, I'm so used to downwing that upwing would actually terrify me. All right, I'm swimming. Zell, do you want to talk about down and upwing? Yeah, so as we'll see here in a few moments uh, from Solmas, uh, once we get onto Avion, then uh, there is an opportunity when we pick um, one wing or the other to go to, to stab the first sigil, uh, Avion will start to turn and tip one way or another. If Avion tips up on your side, then that is an up wing. If Avion tips down, then that is a down wing. Now the mirror on the left side here, mm -hmm. and that is going to be the first side that we try to go to, and we want that side to lift up for it. Up. I got up wing. Let's see if I get I wing drop it. though. That was a little early, so it's, I didn't get full wing drop because I dropped a little early, but I'm still on. Hey, uh, a dry nugget is a good nugget. Exactly. Oh, this might be a meme. Hold on. Okay, so if it's if it's not a full wing, does that make it a boneless wing? <laughs> Maybe. Aviva works in strange ways. Okay. I'll try and drop to the back. Oh, I went too far. Okay, so I fell off. No! Soggy nuggets! So this is where Nyx has a chance to catch up if Nyx gets a dry avion. Good luck. I doubt it'll happen, but I appreciate the confidence. <laughs> I, I haven't had a drive on in a while. I've been messing up a uh, wing drop a lot. So you can see how big of a time loss that a wet avion uh, falling into the water there uh, can be. Because not only do you have to swim back to the dry platforms to be able to shoot at Avion, but you also have to reach Avion with an arrow uh, to get them to notice you and come back and pick you up again. Which Avion does no. not seem to be interested in right now. Oh goodness, that was terrifying. Okay. I am on Zeburb. Grabbing that burp flapping. Grabbing the burp flapping. Oh, now I get upwing. One time that I say that I haven't ever gotten upwing, and then now it finally happens. You brought that on yourself. Ooh. That was a strange wing drop, but it was a wing drop nonetheless. Nice. Ooh, 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 don't flap, don't flap, don't flap, don't flap, don't flap, don't flap, don't, flap, don't, flap, don't do that. That was oh, just mean. Oh, no, 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 no. 
You know what? This is fine. This, I'll just stab right here. The sigil actually extends out much farther than it looks, so I'm fine right here. I'm actually not going to attempt the second wing drop just for safety purposes. Good plan, because you, you are essentially caught up to me at this point. You're just a few stabs behind. Yep. Oh, I'm just barely outside of the hitbox? That was just re mean. The sigil is forgiving, but not that forgiving. <laughs> oh, but I've, I've stabbed from further away than that, which is what's strange about that. Alright, the burb is down. I still yeah, haven't so been grabbed by the spaghetti, so we're still we're pretty close together, maybe about yeah. 30 seconds. As you can see, that falling off of Avion is an incredible time loss. It can cost so much in a run. Alright, I'm gonna start making my way to Barba. Big old bearded boy. Also known as Barab. Barab. Am I going yes. the right way? Yes, I'm going the right way. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh, I just realized I never said Phaedra's mirrored name. How dare I? Phaedra's mirrored name is, of course, Fayath. 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 Because PH makes an F sound, but HP does not. And Bar Barba is Barab. 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 So, so far we've had Valav, Quaterdoc, which Quaterdoc always makes me giggle. <laughs> um, we've had Valav, Quaterdoc, Gaiag, Fayap, uh, Aviva, and now we're going on to Barab. Our, our, our lovely bearded boy, Santa Claus. What just happened to your pathing? I have no idea. I don't know where I am. You know that. Yeah. 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 Did Agro see a rock? Yeah. Yeah. Agro loves rocks. I know Ag she does. Yeah. Agro hates grass, so I'm just going to be like, chilling. Yeah. 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 I ain't even going to try. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the forest is an awful place for Agro's pathing. It, yeah, it if you, is. If you try to kickstart in here and you're like even yeah. anywhere near any yeah. of these ferns or foliage, Agro yeah. will just start bucking and yeah. go nowhere, yeah. and it wastes a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. But if you do kickstart through the forest, you can save a lot of time. You most certainly can. Guess who's gonna do it? Go for it. I just if don't trust. If she would do it, thank you. I she was just trust. standing there. I was like, ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am, please. And then we're gonna get here, and then we're gonna slow down, and then we're um, gonna yeah. Barb is this way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Barb is gonna be to your left, and then go even more left. Like I said I before, I, I I run the normal game. I don't really understand mirror mode <laughs> at all. Mirror I, mode is definitely something that like once you. Do it for the first time. Like when you decide to do it for the first time, it is the most confusing thing you will ever do. But then the more you do it, the more it just feels like muscle memory. I'm just gonna leave the horse behind. <laughs> it's even confusing for watchers to watch mirrors. It is. Because <laughs> it's such a kind of rare category. Um, that even unless I'm watching uh, Nyx do it repeatedly, when I come back after watching others uh, run any percent normal, I'm like, this looks wrong. I'm, to my knowledge, I am the only person who runs this category consistently. Yeah, this this is the only one that. Oh, I went too far. That's you far. are you are like the runner for the category. And I'm still in last place on the chart. Get a nice superhero landing from Wander there. Right? That was beautiful. I'm going to the right hand. Okay. Oh, I totally missed the hand. Uh, oh, no. I got the backup grab, though. I'm good. I think. That's good. Yeah, All you right. should be fine there. 
thankfully with this one, he does big stompies that can like kill you with one stomp, so it's easy to reset. But I made it. Uh, so I'm gonna be actually attempting the cutscene skip with this one, which is terrifying. Uh, because if you're too early, you essentially just destroy the chances at. Um, if you're too late, you can usually recover pretty quickly. But if you can get right on, it's amazing. What you're looking for in that no. scene is a very specific tile. I yeah, got too early. Too early. Meanwhile, I went for a strat that's a little bit safer. Um, which is just grabbing onto that, that hand and then waiting for a specific animation when you're in a certain spot. Nope, and don't do the stompies, don't do the stompies, don't do the stompies. No, I want <laughs> you to punch, please. Punch, please. Do the punch. Why? Why are you like this? Sir? Sir, please. So, I use Sir, the, mo please. the momentum of the arm to get up to the head. The, the cutscene skip, it's it's such a very small window that you need to get to uh, to get oh, that, I'm that I don't get. Go for it. Right now. You got this. Oh, yeah, you're, was, you're that close to the hand. Oh, I you're, am. And I was also trying to jump to the wrong hand. That was oh, my bad. Magnet hands, please. Magnet you were so hands, close. Please. If I can get him to do the correct stomp, I should be fine. But he's not going to, because he wants to walk towards me, because he's a meanie. A big ol' meanie head. Yeah, I've always thought it strange that we grab onto Vallis's beard, but Barba also has a beard. Barba's actually Barba. named after his beard. Vallis yeah. is so much bigger. Barba yeah. means beard. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do the thing that I want you to do? Actually, you know what? Just kill me at this point. Exactly. Yeah, just go for the reset. Just reset me here, please. Because you're but, just being incredibly cruel to me. The cool thing about the, the one that I'm going toward, uh, Hydrus, is... I can easily lose like two minutes on Hydrus just for just doing it wrong. Um, cool. So again, it's going to be very easy for Nyx to catch up if I mess up Hydrus. Which is very likely. <laughs> no! Oh, no! No! that was so close. That was incredibly rude. Don't turn! That's even ruder! Actually, you know what? That's fine. Oh, this is what I've been wanting you to do this Akra, whole, whole time. Doing? Thank you. Very nice. Oh, 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 <laughs> I don't like. I do like. I actually do like. I'm on the right place. Good lord. That was so much pain. Okay, I'm nice. I'm on him. <laughs> nice launch to the head. Very yes. nice. Thank you. <laughs> so incredibly painful. I am still on my way to Hydra, so you're really not that far behind me. No! I hate the plant on your head. It is such a pain in the butt. And all these travel sequences, you can see a lot of the work that Bluepoint put into upgrading the graphics of mm -hmm. the original PS2 game. Yeah, everything's beautiful in this version of the game. They want Admittedly, the original is pretty as well, but this one definitely has like a new kind of beautiful. Yeah, the way I like to describe it is it's what we imagined the original looking like when we think about it in, like, our nostalgia brain. Yeah. Because for the PlayStation 2, it really was beautiful. But then you go, you go back and you look at it now compared to this, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, my, um, my best friend does currently have it on PS2. Um, and I... Yeah! 
go and I grab it, I'm like, this is not the same game that I play. <laughs> I'm trying to make a speedrunner out of her. Although I do not know the strats for PS2. PS2 has completely different strats for like I most know. of the class I. I know, and that's why I can't like actually teach her. I'm like, I can teach you the strats for PS4 version. You want to learn those? <laughs> I'll teach you those. I know I... you don't have a PS4, but I can teach you. I am entering Hydrus. I am. About to leave the temple towards Hydrus. I almost got off the horse and into the water. That was weird. Um, I'm jumping right. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the camera helps you a lot in that one. And off I go on my limitless travels. Off to see the world in all of its beauty. So what I'm, I'm doing here is I'm counting the number of times I swim. Uh, so that I put myself in a particular position that I'm going to be grabbing onto the tail right where I want to to set up for uh, the intended way that you kill Hydrus, which is stabbing all of these back nodes until you get to the head. There are some faster ways to do this, uh, which I'm not personally comfortable with, especially not on mirror mode. So I just go for intended. Yes, so there there is another strat. I'm also not going to be doing it because I have not learned it yet. It's one of the more difficult strats in the game. Um, but Hydra's head skip is essentially... Um, you line it up to where she gets aggro pretty much immediately, which is what we both are going to be doing here. It's the counting the swims uh, aggros her onto you immediately. Um, but then when she gets to you, there are a secret... A, a sequence of very specific jumps and jump stabs out of the water that you do that causes her to completely change the direction that she turns her head and makes her surface the water earlier so you can actually jump straight onto her head and then just do jump stabs all the way up to um, the sigil rather than having to climb the entire way. Oh! You know you can just tank the damage on those, right? Oh, I know. I just It's more consistent, like I said, for me to just do it intended. That's fair. So, I just do it intended. Hydrus is a very finicky opponent. Yeah, ha had I not done this perfectly and not gotten to the head right when I did, I wouldn't have enough cycles to get these stabs in and Hydrus would have gone back underneath the water. And I would have had to wait for Hydrus to come back to the top, which would have taken a couple minutes. Yeah. Uh, which is something you'll notice that I'm going to do. I'm just going to tank the damage from those nodes because as soon as you kill one of those nodes... Uh, an internal timer starts on Hydrus, which is going to cause her to dip back down under the water after a certain amount of time. Um, by not hitting those nodes until I get to the very uh, front one and I kill that one and then do the stabs on the head, um, it negates the uh, amount of time that it's going to take her, or that she's going to be doing those cycles. So she's just going to stay up until I'm ready to start stabbing her. What can I say? I like living on the edge. You do like living on the edge. It is a little terrifying to think about, though. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because you don't have underwater rolls. Because you don't play on uh, classic controls, do oh, you? Oh, no. I don't roll underwater. I just have a specific setup, and I do it the same every time. And it gives me just enough time to get to the head before she goes back under. And as Nyx just mentioned, there are multiple uh, control yeah. setups that you can select from for this game. Um, the classic PS2 version, um, a modern one uh, has, that takes into account more modern sensibilities uh, that uh, come across as standardized controls nowadays with analog sticks and buttons. Um, and then I believe that there's probably one or two more in there uh, that are slightly modified from that modern. 
Yes. So there's the classic, which is the original um, from PS2, where, you know, triangle is jump, um, and you use bumpers instead of the triggers for literally everything. Um, and then there is modern, which, like Zell said, is made to be more of what is commonly considered to be correct controls for most games nowadays. Um, and then there is modern remapped and classic remapped, um, just kind of depending on which one you want to do. It's a mixture of the both of them, um, but there's just slight differences between those two. I personally play modern because triangle should never be jump. Triangle is always jump when you're playing Shadow of the Colossus. What's wrong with you? Oh, I just rode right into a wall because that's the direction I was supposed to go. Yes, please continue. <laughs> please continue doing <laughs> such things. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one's name is Hadda, by the way. This is Hadda, <laughs> not Hydra. Hydra. Hadda. Another one of my favorite names. I have about three or four of them that are just... They're gold. They're absolute gold. But there's there's one that comes later, which I, I do prescribe to, so... Yes, yes, as everyone <laughs> should. We all know exactly which one you're talking about. <laughs> yes. Uh, another one of my favorites is uh, Phalanx, which has been changed to Falap. It is literally Falap, and I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Um, Aviva is clearly one of my favorites. Quarterdoc, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, the aforementioned one, which we won't talk about until we get to it. All right, I am entering Kuro's temple. Alrighty, I'm waiting on Death Spaghetti. Death Spaghetti just hit me. Perfect timing. Now here is a. Uh, I'm getting on Kuro. If you want to talk about it, so go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say uh, one of my favorite Colossi, uh, just because of the <laughs> strategy that we use. Um, I just find it absolutely hilarious. Yeah, talk about Kuro, because I'm about to get into it, so I don't really want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so Kuro is a wall-climbing Colossi here, and what... Uh, Soul Mass is going to do is whistle up here up top and then take the uh, stairs down so that Kuro thinks that we are one floor up wait for him to climb up the wall to get us and shoot the limbs as he passes make Kuro fall to the ground and then we jump on top I don't know why it's just so satisfying to see the two leg hits and then just watch them fall to the ground. Um, I know why. one of the other instances of cycle stabs, uh, getting them on Kuromori here. There are two sigils, one up front, one up back. And then I'm going to do a jump stab. Yeah. Yeah, the jump stab does the most damage in the game. It's slightly more than a fully charged stab. So, when I know the sigil is very close to dead anyway, it, just getting the quick jump stab in, it's not only faster doing damage, but it's also faster getting that cutscene to trigger. Because uh, it immediately triggers the cutscene. Instead of, if I just stab, you, you get a slowdown where it shows you stabbing the sword going in before the cutscene starts. Uh, and when we're running the game, we're actually going by in-game time for the leaderboards. So you lose a couple seconds for that little bit of time waiting for the sword before the cutscene goes. We try to avoid that everywhere we can. And it just looks cooler. It does look cool. Yeah. Alright, where am I going? Bossaron? Bossaron. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good old Bossasab. Yeah. Bossasab. Uh, me and Bossasab don't normally get along. I, I hopefully Bossasab goes well for me today. Again, this is one where Nyx can catch up very easily if I just start spiraling. Um, kind of depends on what strat you use. Do you do rib or launch? I go for rib. Okay, because I was going to say launch, it can definitely really mess you up because of the directional part of launch. Um, 
But if you do rib, it shouldn't change too much. I prefer those delicious turtle ribs. <laughs> Good old turtle soup. Pasta I'm happy. is my least favorite colossi. I'm happy that someone else calls him a turtle because everybody that I talk to calls him a crab. And I'm like, no, that is a turtle. And He's so a turtle. is. So is Pelagia. Absolutely Pelagia is also a turtle. Um, if I remember correctly, the developer name for Bossaron even uh, calls it uh, a turtle. I remember talking to multiple people and them calling him a crab. And I'm like, no, that's not, no. Wait, well, and since you brought that up, we should note that there are developer names for all of the Colossi, and all of the names that we have been using are the fan given names. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Yeah, sometime in the ancient times of Shadow, somebody came up with these names that we've been using, and the community just kind of agreed on them, so everyone's been using them ever since. So shout out to whoever that person was in the ancient times. I have no idea. A part of me wants to say it was Nomad Colossus, but I feel like that's incorrect. Yeah, all the developer names were things like Minotaur 1 and Minotaur 2, you know, easy easy to keep track of things when you're developing a game. Um, but they don't they don't sound fun. No, they don't. So what I'm actually going to do oh. here is uh, I'm going to set up for the rib strat. So I'm going to take an intentional death because I'm used to setting this up and doing it in the time attack mode, which if I take the death, it's going to start me like I'm playing this in time attack. Horimori is down. GG's. Right. I do have Congrats. to say, I I love the Kurumori strat because of the fact that when I played this casually, Kurumori was the one boss that I dreaded every single time. He was incredibly difficult for me. I always felt like I was struggling way too hard with him. And then whenever I learned the strat now, it's literally the easiest boss fight in the game. Alright, I am on boss a sub. That was See, there another, another I almost physics fell abuse. Off. <laughs> you see another slight physics and hang time abuse there to be able to get uh, from the rib um, onto the knee, and then when Bossaron dips down to uh, after the stomp, way. we can launch up uh, to grab the side of his shell here. And uh, this is my least favorite Colossi because in my semi-casual run, um, which I have never played this game casually, I've only tried doing it with speedrun strats. Uh, but on my first run, this took me four and a half hours to do this Colossi. Oh, no. <laughs> it was not. It was not a fun time. I'll admit it took me a while, but that's because I was trying to figure out how the geysers worked. Because <laughs> I was playing it casually without speedrun. Am I the only one here who played this originally on the PS2 when it came out? I did not play it on the PS2, but I, I have experienced the PS2 version. My first time playing it casually was on PS4, and that was just because I didn't have a PS2 growing up. Like, I... Very much like my friends had PS3s growing up, like the really big, fat, chunky PS3s. Uh, but I just, I didn't have a lot of gaming systems growing up. I'm also just ancient. <laughs> I mean, I could have had this on PS2, but uh, it was not in my wheelhouse of games at, at that time in my life. That's fair. That's fair. And this was also a very late release for PS2. One of the last games to come out for the console. Mm -hmm. That's part of why it looks so good on PS2. They knew they knew how to push that hardware. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm done with Bossaron. Looks like you're riding up to Bossaron now. Good luck. Yes, I am. Thank you. I'll start the long ride to Dirge. Long ride. Now, are you going for a rib as well, Nyx? Yes, I am. But I don't, I don't do the the reset for it usually. 
Yeah, there's both uh, a sound cue and a, a visual cue you can use to try and set it up, and, and Nyx is using that strategy. No, no, oh, no, no! Just barely. I hate you. That has happened to me so many times. Uh, at least Augur was still there. So mad, right? Augur likes to just run away, and then you're stuck having to just walk all the way to the cliff, and it's horrible. So mm -hmm. that's actually very lucky. It is. <laughs> Wait, Hopefully I'm going I'll to, to, to Dirge. Why, why am I going this? I'm going to Dirge. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other strat for Bosseron involves uh, a launch, much like what Space Jam kind of is. Uh, it is another physics abuse where you grab onto one of the front legs at the knee using Agro to uh, give you some extra height up yeah. to it. And then when the leg lifts, uh, yeah. it just kind of glitches out and launches you straight uh, up into the air where you can land on straight on the head right on top of the sigil. All right. Nice, nice second try rib there. Thank you. Thank you. I sadly did not avoid those shakes, though. That's a, uh, if you get very up, hard to, to avoid. Yeah. If you get up to a certain um, one of these ridges in time, it'll completely like stop this shake from happening but if you don't then you have to deal with the shake which is fine it happens Basaran on 60 fps is also incredibly incredibly uh fidgety you'll see it's like he's twitching a lot um and that is specifically a 60 fps problem he just which likes I, to do the hokey pokey i don't understand why it's a thing though like, I will be completely honest, I do not understand that issue. I don't understand it either. Why but it, that it definitely, that? it definitely makes it much harder for me to get the plant on the head. Yeah, the, the plant on the head is already extremely difficult anyways. It's, it's so weird, because it's like in a weird corner and you have to come at it at a certain angle for it to actually work. Bossaron's just a really annoying colossus. <laughs> I know PDO absolutely loves him. I know that Jade loves him, but I, I, it's rough. Oh, I, I did manage to get the plant though. That's good. Okay. I, I used to to hate Bossaron, but we're we're on better terms now. Oh, I still hate him. He's, he's <laughs> mean to me. Do I? He's incredibly mean to me, and I don't enjoy his presence. Um. I'm taking the scenic route to Dirge because I'm so lost in mirror mode. <laughs> Please continue taking the scenic route. <laughs> yes, I'm just now getting to Dirge when I probably could have been here like 30 seconds or 45 seconds ago. Oh, that's a rock. Okay. That's fine. Agro uh, just wants to get into amateur geology and is really interested in all of the different rocks uh, around this, uh, this pile. Alright, Dirge is a fun one. I, I like this Colossus. I like Dirge as well. Another one that was incredibly terrifying in casual play, and then once I got the speedrun strat, lost all fear in my heart. So, Zell, oh, uh, this... go ahead and talk about Dirge, Zell. So, Dirge is a kind of sand snake colossi. What we're trying to do here is um, give him an arrow to the eye, and then he will twist, crash into one of the walls, or what we prefer is crash uh, early into a pillar. That way you don't get all this wasted time of him traveling all the way over to a wall. And now... Um, Dirge does have some very specific uh, stab times that you uh, have to get on here. It is just over two stabs for uh, one. Okay, I think that should be good. I was just under, and I think that might have corrected it. We'll uh, see. Do though. you know the Do you know the way to fix the just o just under? Yes, okay. I think I got it. We'll see though. This PDO taught me how to fix it if I think I'm just barely under. Ah, uh, I was still um, under. No. Avoid the... Oh it... no! <laughs> it's fine. I mean, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I also am not going to be saying about the quite very specific um, stab amounts. Yes, so uh, Dirge in particular, the reason that we can do understabs on his first sigil uh, is due to the fact that we shot him in the eye with fully charged uh, arrow. So that still registers the amount of damage that is needed to technically kill that sigil without actually killing that sigil, which is what's going to cause him to go under the sand. Um, but the exact stabs that we need to do are a one full stab, 1.9 stab, and 1.5 stab. Because each sigil does require um, 2.5 full stabs, but the first sigil, we go in and do a 0.9 instead of two pulls because we already got that 0.1 amount of stab on um, the arrow that we shot in the eye. At least if you accidentally understab the first sigil, you can do what I just did and just run up and just swipe your sword at it and that's enough yep. to kill the sigil. Which the, the backup, if you think that you've understabbed, is just to do the exact same precision stabs on the second one and then go back and do the sexy slash on the, the first sigil. Yep. And that'll do it. Which I am so grateful to PDO for teaching that to me because, oh my god, I kept messing up my precision stabs on Dirge. I'm just not very practiced with Dirge, to be honest. <laughs> That's fair. I, I spent many hours focusing Dirge um, early on because I was really struggling with those precision stabs. I really need to go back and practice Pelagia for a little bit because I keep messing up the precision stabs on Pelagia, but... Alright, so you're going into Dirge. I'm just exiting the temple. I'm on my way to Celosia. Amazing. It fears the flames. Good luck with Dirge. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Dirge. Do you want to play peekaboo with me? I don't really want to play peekaboo with you, but I will for the sake of game. Back when I was uh, practicing running this, I rest. believe that I did call uh, Dirge on my splits Shy Halud, if anyone is a Dune fan. <laughs> Definitely Shy Halud. Ah, 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 why am I under you? Does that make Wander the Lisa on Agaib? Well, I mean... No, because we're fighting Dirge, so that would make <laughs> us a Harkonnen, wouldn't it? No, oh. we're, we're riding Dirge. <laughs> that, that's a loose... Loose way to, deter, to, to define riding. <laughs> We're peeling back the, uh, the, the ring so that we can ride dirge, right? No, no, that comes later on failings. <laughs> Alright, enough dune. Very nice stabs. Okay, that explains why Very I was good. so confused. I was like, what are you two talking about? <laughs> We're just talking about dune. I was so dune. lost. <laughs> I was so lost. I'm like, I'm just going to focus on my precision stabs. I don't know what's happening right now. Very nice. That was one cycle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am about to jump off a cliff. Um, I was going to say don't do that, and then I realized where you're going. <laughs> and then Please do that. Do that, indeed. Um, Just don't miss. Oh. Don't miss, yes. Yeah, but... don't miss, sure. Whoa, that's a nice jump. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Oh. <laughs> Just Skyrim horsing your way down. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I'm tempted to just do intended here, but I'll I'll just I'll go for it. What do you mean intended? Like use the torch as it's intended. Oh, do you struggle to use the torch and like do the quick swaps? In in mirror mode, I'm not so um, I'm I'm not so uh oh I'll pick up the torch. This. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I understand. I, I don't. I'm not feeling so good right now, Mr. Stark. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Ooh, that positioning on the 
uh, ledge is. Oh yeah, that, that was that was sketch. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. At least I didn't get launched. At least you didn't get launched, but that exact spot that you were standing in, um, I think if you're there whenever she hits you, you get launched all the way down rather than just to the second ledge. Yep. Normally, I got lucked out. I was able to magnet hands right before. Yeah, that's good. You still fell, though, which isn't good. <laughs> I mean, good it's good for, for you. you. Oh, it's good for <laughs> me, but I'm also trying to be encouraging, y'all. Um, also, the torch is now all the way over there, and I have to get past the Colossus. <laughs> Um, that's true. That's a thing. You probably also have to relight it, too. Yep, I do. Um, this yes, is fine, though. Good. I've played Dark Souls yes, before. Good. <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> Just watching her charge you like that is absolutely terrifying. I've played Dark Souls before. I'm good. Welcome to every time that I try to fight Zenobia. <laughs> Dodger. Dodger. You know what? Here. This is, this is how it happens intended. I remember doing this casually, and I got too close to her, and she bapped me, and I was like, Wait, what? You can do that? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> I was like, that's rude. How dare. <laughs> Alright, will I get the jump onto the back, though? I always miss this as well. Just yeet yourself. Just go ahead and yeet. All the way from the top. Never mind. Send it. This is good. That was good. Oh, I thought it was good. I got shaken out of the plant somehow. Oh no. That plant's weird. Sometimes you can, like, get really badly shaken out of it. And this was my experience, and I spent about five minutes writing, writing oh, no. around to try oh, no. to finish this. Oh no! Oh no! Wander, no! Wander, no! Why are Where'd you stuck you in geometry? I'm stuck oh. in geometry? That's happened to me many times. Why'd you go all the way down?! <laughs> That's happened to me so many times. Roger, we gotta leave, my guy. You can still get up. You just gotta run all the way around. I know, but come <laughs> on. We had a chance. Every time that I've had a chance, the game's just like, no. I mean, the good news is I'm on my way to Pelagia and Phalanx. So. Oh, and, and, isn't bad. and Zenobia and Argus. Zenobia's fair. I can lose a lot of time on all of these. Yeah, that's true. Especially with Argus, because I'm going to be very, uh, very much not switching to uh, Intended. Oh, you're going to attempt the launch? Always. If I don't get it for the launch, it's yeah. not going to happen. Uh, just remember to hold to the left, or to the right instead of the left. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, I always have to do Argus intended. Pelagia is. I did this for one? a really long time. Yeah, yeah. Question mark? Yes. Pelagia is going to be between those pillars that you're seeing. Yes. Oh, I'm in a really bad spot. Okay. Um. Celestia, honey, honey bunch, can you. What is Celestia doing? Stun lock yourself. Celestia. That was my fault. I didn't jump properly. Ah. Uh. So this is on a very weird AI loop. I've never seen that before. Very unfortunate. It's okay. I just needed to get her to move for a second so that I could grab the stick. Because I just didn't jump over far enough whenever I tried to get the stick. Give them the stick. Don't give them the stick! My brain knows where that is from, <laughs> but I can't get the name. I'll be honest, I've got no clue right now. It's a, uh, a, a G.I. Joe overdub. Old meme reference. Here I was thinking it was Monty Python. I saw, I saw a really fun video of... There were these people who went to, to Disney and they were recording the, the like French uh, nights scene, but it was like them yelling across the, um... oh goodness, there's like a pond in Disney or something, like a little pond or a river or something, and they're standing on either side of it and they're just recording each other, like doing the, 
like French knights yelling at them yeah. scene. You know what I'm talking about from Holy Grail? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> the your father was a hamster and your mother smelled of elderberry. <laughs> now go away, away or I shall taunt you a second time. <laughs> That's gonna be me with Pelagi in a moment when I get on one of these towers. Next, do you want to say the your name of Pelagia? <laughs> oh, no, go for it. Good old Pelalet. 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 Our favorite. Our favorite. Our love. Pelalet. Pelalet is the best name. The bestest of all. Fun fact: I'm also on my way to Pelalet. Very nice. Please I'm uh, about to make the jump over to the waterfall. Please fall in the waterfall. Please fall. In the waterfall. Oh, I'm not Wait, falling into the waterfall. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I didn't say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Fun fact, if I fell in this waterfall, I'd have to do this whole ride over again. Please fall in the waterfall. Please fall in the waterfall. Would you have to restart at the temple? Yep. Yes. The only way you wouldn't have to restart at the temple is if you get that save spot right before the waterfall, but none of us grab it because we don't often fall in the waterfall, but sometimes yeah, it happens and it's real sad. Why would we fall in the waterfall? I, I saw you jumping into the water and kind of completely forgot that you have to jump into the water to swim over to Pelagia. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> Why are you doing it? Why are you in the waterfall? <laughs> um, I'm not going. I, well, I'll try to do the face, but I, I can't climb the face in mirror mode. I found I just can't get the timing right, but I'll, I'll still go for it. I, I still can't get face grab generally, so. I just. I do the shots to get her in the right positioning. I'll give it the old that. college try. The old college try. Hell lep is on. That was a little uh, early. Yeah, it was too early. Yeah. That's fine. It's often one of the most finicky classes for everybody. Yep, she is the one that has the most interference from actual RNG. Pretty much every other Colossus as like set paths that they walk and things like that. Um, or they're specifically like follow the character, follow the player kind of um, stuff. Oh no. Pelagia doesn't have that. What is going on? <laughs> what is going Near on? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Please continue that. I've, I've never seen- hired some bouncers. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That was fun. Is there like an invisible wall that you smacked or something? I don't know. I... There shouldn't be any invisible walls on there. I'm assuming there was just like some geometry collision detection problem. Yeah, something on the side of the body was just like making me uh, stumble. All right, one more to the right. Thank you. Pelagia just said, no. Shoot me, please. Please do not. All right, now, your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberries. There we go. <laughs> the fact that that worked is even funnier. <laughs> All right, stabs. Very nice one cycle. Very nice. So the way that works is we want to get one big full stab in and 1.9 stab. So just barely not a full stab. It sets us up for a cycle where on the, th the third stab we do another full stab and you saw the animation buck back. Uh, and it gives us enough time to get a fourth stab in before uh, Pelagi goes underwater. So we can get one cycle in without having to, to take Pelagi over to another one of these towers, which take a lot of time a lot of time. It does take a lot of time, so I'm going to hope and dream and pray and cry <laughs> that I oh please, oh please, oh me, oh my get me a one cycle, please and thank you. I don't know who I'm praying to, but I'm praying to somebody. <laughs> you got this. I haven't gotten a one cycle in a very long time, I will be completely honest with you. Yeah! Be well, nice, I, I'm known to fall off phalanx, so <laughs> we'll see what yeah. happens. Yeah. 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 
So with uh, Pelalep or Pelagia here, if you don't get that um, uh, that one cycle, you have to do this part again. You have to climb up, you have to, or you have to swim around, climb up, get back up to the head, and then use these glowing green teeth-like rocks to guide uh, to guide Pelalep over to one of the towers again and repeat that whole sequence just to get that one last stab in. I am your dentist. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Oh, oh. Nice. The face jumped no. during that. Oh, no. She wasn't lined up yeah. properly. Yeah. She's not squared off properly. She won't actually do the animation cancel that I'm trying to get her to do. But hopefully she doesn't walk too far because she's a little yeah. turd yeah. Yeah. and likes to walk away from things. That's you can't I... run from your responsibilities, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> yeah, Nyx was going for something a little bit more advanced to, to get a different animation, which would, would have been faster than what I did. But sometimes if Pelagia is not in the right spot, uh, it just won't work. Hey, hey, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> get, back, get back over here. Where are you going? Get back over here. Pelagia, over here. Your mother was a hamster. And your father smelled of elderberries. And you are a turd. Come <laughs> back. Up oh, there we go. Whoever heard your prayers doesn't what? like you very much. She didn't right? like being she didn't like being called a turd, so that worked. Hello. Peek stand up. <laughs> Will the real Pelolet please stand up? <laughs> real Pelolet, please stand up. Please. Okay, I'm trying to get shots here that are going to hit all three of these sacks. Okay, I got that one. Got that no, one. No, I don't want you to climb up that way. I want you to do this. Cool. I want you to go here. And then... Eh? No. There we go. Thank you. And I've got... Well, it, this would be a left turn if I wasn't mirrored. This is a right turn. No! What the heck, Pelagia? Oh, no. Well, I'm going for my normal setup that I do with the light right turn. I've never done it in mirrored before, so this might not work. You Wait, wait. Whoa. This might end up being a three cycle because she didn't break the thing. That's and that's weird. terrifying that she didn't break the thing. Which doesn't make sense why she stopped being up, but okay. Oh my god. Sorry, I might I might I might tilt a little bit. I'm not gonna You got lie. this, I believe in you. Pelagia is terrifying and I hate her. Please don't fall off phalanx, please don't fall off phalanx. I don't know what to do here, cause like, she's, she didn't break it. That might have been an understab and I'm hoping it wasn't. If it was, we've got a long walk back. Oh yeah, it's, uh, cause I have to wait for the cycle again. What do I do if I understab you? I've never had this happen before. This okay. is the first. Just go for the big stabs. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't two, know what just happened, but yeah, it worked. Yeah, two full stabs should still work there. That was so strange. GG's, you got you got past it. That's what matters. I thank you. I am glad that it didn't go as terribly as it could have. <laughs> Because I was afraid that it was going to be... I would do another stab and it would only register as pixel health and then send me into the two cycle. Because sometimes it likes to do that. Because so anyway, this game works sometimes. I just finished Phalanx, um, or Felap, and Felap. the way that worked is normally after you fully uh, stab out those sigils and they disappear, Phalanx will do a barrel roll. Um, 
but if you don't fully stab on the second one, you just, like I did a full stab and a point nine stab, you don't trigger the barrel animation. So you can immediately start jumping to the next sigil. Um, so that's how we are, have enough time to do a one cycle on Phalanx like that. Mm -hmm. Phalanx is pretty easy whenever you think about it in the grand scheme of like how the precision stabs work because you're not actively like trying to fight their movement or anything like that. Like they're pretty steady. So it's easy to get those like precision stabs in there, which is really nice. The the problem with Phalanx though is that when you're jumping backward down Phalanx's back, you, it's very easy to stumble or, or miss a jump and just jump off. Um, if you if you mess it up too much and you don't get back to that third sigil fast enough, you will run out of time and Phalanx those flaps will close, and you'll have to do another cycle. So you still need to get back through all of the sigils very quickly. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong direction. That's not the way I'm supposed to be going. Please continue. Please, <laughs> please keep doing it. Thank you for being on my side all of a sudden. But yes, that's weird. <laughs> You're supposed to be the third party here, but I appreciate you not being the third party. But yes, that's how one cycle fa uh, fell app works. Now, should we talk I about the lore and emotional impact of the phalanx fight in Go. terms of like the story? Go for it, because I'm going to yeah. be riding onto Zenobia for quite a while. So, Phalanx is uh, commonly one of many people's favorite colossi, and uh, a big reason that, um, so like, the the lore of the game in a nutshell is, you know, we're killing all the colossi, we're taking them down for, to try and get um, the girl that is laying down at the temple um, brought back to life. Um, and there is a magic person in the sky that talks to us um, by the name of Dormant. And, you know, th up to this point, up to Phalanx, you're kind of wondering, like, am I doing the right thing? Uh, but, you know, all of those colossi fight back. Um, Phalanx is the first colossus that does not fight back at all. It is a completely passive fight outside of um, trying to basically run away from you. Um, so that is... That's kind of a big emotional impact for a lot of people when they realize that. Yeah, Wander may not be the good guy in this story. Are we the baddies? What? I have no idea what you're talking about. We're totally the good guys. Oh, thank you. She didn't go around the, like, mound in the corner. She just went straight. Lovely. Uh, so you got the, uh... The, the right slash left in this version turn. <laughs> the left in this version, yes. That's what I prefer as well, but most speedrunners who like the IL version of this, the fight want to see Phalanx go around the other side. Yeah, but the, the IL is incredibly tight timing, and I am not even moving whenever I shoot yeah. those um, yeah. arrows. I just sit in the original spot and shoot them. Same here. Good luck on your stabs. Thank you, thank you. Phalanx usually ends up being just a gimme colossus for me. So, I should be all good. It's, the only time it's not is whenever I miss one of the, the air sacs. It's far from a gimme for me, so I'm glad. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm very happy for you. <laughs> thank you. This oh, don't worry. Is... I'll be I'll be back to Malding in a minute. We'll be this... fine. <laughs> Sinobia is also not um, my friend. Oh, oh, don't stumble. Oh, don't stumble. We'll see what happens, yeah. though. Yeah. Wander just wanted to do a few cartwheels. It's fine. Had to limber up. Right. Very just nice. Just had to stretch. Very nice foul app. Thank you. Uh, I'm on my Good way. Good luck on uh, Senenek. Yeah, what I'm going to be doing when I enter this fight is um, setting up for something called the super jump, which is going to require me to go back to 30 FPS mode, which in this game, this version on PS5 or PS4 Pro, you can run it at 60 FPS, but you can also switch it back to 30 FPS, which is what it normally ran at at PS4. And the only way that we can really 
get the super jump to work correctly is on 30 FPS consistently. So as soon as I get into this cutscene trigger, I'm just going to go ahead and switch my display mode over to cinematic mode, which is 30 FPS. And you won't I'm... see any menuing from me because I don't do super jump because I couldn't do it even <laughs> whenever I was running on the PS4. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, uh, I'm going to be taking the risk and going for super jump. The way this works, um, which I'll have a little bit of time while I'm running over to explain, is there's some geometry and the ground sometimes in the game where Wander's feet will enter the ground a little bit if you land from a jump. And if you're mashing the jump button while Wander's feet are planted inside the collision of the ground, when you exit the ground, it adds the force of your jump to how much it's pushing you out of the ground. Did I run the wrong way? I think I ran the wrong way. I think you did. Whoops. Um, that's fine. That. It's fine. Uh, I'll have plenty of time, right? Uh, and yeah, you absolutely so, will. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be running up to this pillar and jumping and hitting the side of the pillar, and. Where are you at? Okay, not close. I have a little bit of time. And I'm going to hopefully, when I mash here, get this jump to happen. Eh, come on. No, come on. Please. Please. Running out of time. I need to stop paying attention to you trying to do super jump and pay attention to not running into cliffs. That'd be a good idea. It would be a very good idea. I have a chance. I have a chance right now to catch up. Oh my lord, this this super jump is not being... It's not <laughs> happening. That's why I completely just ignore super jump and go for, for Kaze. Because I'm not consistent with super jump. I just go straight into Kaze. That avoids the menuing and makes it so much easier. I also avoid the super jump. Because I'm just, all, I'm just not consistent at it. I, I cannot get it to save my life. I can, I norm I can normally get it by now, but it's just not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, it's good. Yeah, this is your chance, because it's just not happening, and I I'm very stubborn about this. This and Argus, I think, are going to be my two catch-up points. Because I have a lot more experience with the Argus launch in Mirror than you do. There we go. There All we right. Go. Jeez, I took forever. My hand is tired. That was just mashing for like a minute straight. <laughs> no, no, no. Agro, stop it. Wait, where are you? Where, where are you at? Okay. This, that perspective is so weird. And what, weird. looking down? No, oh, seeing the yeah. wall on the Oh, wrong this is not side. good. <laughs> Whistle while you work. Get over here. I don't know if Discord picked up my whistling, but I did whistle the tune for you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, please come over here. I'm over here. Yes, please, please, Sonobia, Not this. keep doing okay, that. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> did you? Did you I'm go back to? I'm gonna whistle over here mode? and then jump back. This should work. Switch back to performance mode now that you're up there. I'm, there I'm good. Go. <laughs> Oh, I missed. For wacky. I tried for it. <laughs> I didn't quite get it. I bonked the uh, the wall. <laughs> it's fine though. <laughs> I used to get like half of wacky consistently, and I have not gotten it in months. And I'm just like, what? What did I do correctly before? Because I want to know what I'm doing wrong now. <laughs> when we talk about wacky, we're talking about there's a little spot on the wall that you can try and aim for, and you can jump to it during that cutscene, and it just saves time. As opposed to climbing out of the rubble and everything like that. And uh, weirdly enough, Wacky is one of the very few tricks that I'm actually consistent on. Do you get the full Wacky, like, up onto the actual ledge, or do you just yep. get the wall? Nice. Full up onto the ledge. Oh, getting... teach me, please. <laughs> yeah, getting onto the ledge is really awesome. I've never done that, but I've gotten the, uh, the Wacky onto the wall many times. Like I said, I've gotten it. I used to get it consistently just to get onto the wall. And then I completely like lost my ability to do it. And I'm like, I don't know what I was doing correctly. So I don't know how to fix what I'm doing wrong. Cause I also don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, 
whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, Zenobia's down for me. My thumb, like, glitched on the analog stick while I was trying to run. My thumb glitched? My thumb twitched. <laughs> what, what's the mirror name for Zenobia? Uh, Senonek. Senonek. Yep. And Celosia is Senonek. Well, I'm still... I'm going to be on my way to Argus trying to do the launch in drop to the hand, so you, you still can catch up very much quickly, if I mean this too much. Good ol' Argra. And then, also the pathing on Malice backwards. Oh, uh, that's true. There's a lot of time left for me to lose. If Zenobia is nice to me, I'm definitely gonna get, like, a decent amount of time back. Because if I can just get Kaze Jump, I'll be good. Uh, and Kaze Jump is going to be another example of Magnet Hands. You'll see me do it in just a second. So, whereas Lux was doing um, Super Jump, I am currently attempting to do Kaze Jump, which is a little... Oh, no! Oh, oh God! That was a jump scare! That was rude. <laughs> <laughs> that scared me so bad! Sonobi came out of nowhere. <laughs> Like Y'all didn't see how <laughs> badly I jumped, but like that was a genuine freaking jump scare. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> there, there we go, we there's yeah. magnet hands. That's Kaze. Different trick that we can use to skip the intended way of climbing up all of these pillars and making Zenobia hit all of the pillars, which takes a lot of time. I am confident I would have gotten it that second time around if I didn't get sniped by Zenobia. <laughs> Stealth Zenobia come from around the corner. <laughs> genuinely scared the crap out of me. I physically shook. Like, it was so bad. Yes, I know. You're very angry. You are such an angry boy. Alright, going for the jump. Nope, nope, I have the wall. You also balked. That's fine, though. It's not too hard to get back up. Because yeah, Zenobia is stunned, so... It's not a huge time loss, either. Versus getting it. Yeah. It's more of a swag strat, to be honest. Yeah, no, honestly. Uh, why did that arrow phase through your body? That happens sometimes with arrows in this game. They just kind of phase right through the Colossus. We don't know why it, that happens. It happens a lot on Malice's shoulder. It likes to happen to uh, Pelilep's head, too, sometimes. That's true. Do you shoot her head or do you shoot her shoulder whenever you're trying to do face grab? I shoot her shoulder first and then I shoot the head second. Oh, gotcha. I always shoot just the shoulder. Like, both times. Maybe that's what's been messing me up with trying to get the face grab? Maybe. I do the shoulder and then I wait the three seconds and then I shoot the face. Mm -hmm. Same. It also could just be a timing thing, because I'm really bad about counting, like, three seconds. <laughs> yeah, with my attempt, I was maybe, like, a half a second too early when I shot the second time. Mm -hmm. So I didn't trigger the downward mo the movement of the head. Okay. It, Very it's nice really kill. Down. Thank you. It's really helpful to do that in um, time attack. Mm -hmm. um, so that you have the clock counting down, and then you can um, pair that with the movements. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely yeah. need to go back and practice. I'm just so terrified to try and do time attack with uh, Pelagia, because she literally crashes the game if you do time attack too many times, and it's happened to me multiple times. I don't know if either of you have experienced her crashing the game, but she does do it. <laughs> I've had so many weird game crashes in this game. It's, it's hard to remember all of them. Ah. Alright, I'm going into Argus. Good luck. I'm about to leave the temple to go to Argus. Please. 
please, please, please get soup knifed a million times. Wait, did I run to the wrong leg? I think I went to the wrong leg. I did. You did. You did indeed. Yes, my chance. My chance. Agro, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I do this to me. The wrong Every leg. Single time. <laughs> All right, so I want the left leg to stomp, not the right leg. <laughs> You want the left leg to stomp, you want to jump onto the right leg. Yes. Because the sword is that, in technically his left hand. That's the sauce. Are oh, you lost in it? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, or I can I miss the jump to the leg. immediately. <laughs> We're just going to wing it. I, I don't... Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't think that's going to work, bud. <laughs> It's fine. Try all you like, but I don't think that's working for you. This is fine. This is fine. Everything is Everything's fine. fine. It'll take me a few tries to get it, too, so you're not alone. Can I get the reach? Thank you. That's the and one thing that sucks about that. This is what makes races so exciting. No, I it, went to the wrong leg again. <laughs> I went to the wrong leg again. <laughs> yes! Yes! Muscle memory be their downfall! <laughs> Please! That's really what it is, because practicing Argus, I've literally put like 15, 20 hours of practice in, just into Argus. Oh, yeah. Um, so, doing it in Mirror is completely wrong to me. I put in a lot of practice into Argus, and then I stopped playing the game for months. After I got my consistency with the strat, I stopped playing the game for months. And then not only... Ugh, I just did it again. <laughs> Not only did I not play for months, but then whenever I came back, I went straight into mirrored instead of normal. So I'm really not consistent with the strat, but I try. Walk left. Just walk left, please, brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a step to the left. <laughs> exactly. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I can get the launch if I can just get the, the, the right setup. I thought you just did it again. <laughs> oh, and I missed the jump again. You know what? This should be fine. Nope. <laughs> you have to be on the inside of the leg, remember? You're oh, trying to set you're up right. For the launch, yeah. and you're going to the complete wrong side I'm, of the said leg. I'm mirrored. Uh, my brain. Ah, this was a great idea. Happy <laughs> this was April the Fools, best everybody. idea. <laughs> yes, we are Happy recording this April on April Fool's Day. <laughs> Alright. Left leg. Jump to the inside. There we go. <laughs> Alright, this should be Arcus launch. Or not. <laughs> nope. Nope. Almost. It can't. I wasn't. And this is why I always do Argus intended. Yeah. Because I, I cannot get that launch down at all. I wasn't quite holding directly to the right, I don't think. That's okay, I'll get it this time. Right? As Nyx catches up to me. Right? No left. Are you messing with me? No, I was correct. <laughs> you go to the left. And then you hold right. Yeah, you hold right. Yes. But you also need to run to the left. There, there we go. go. There it is. <laughs> oh, I did it too. See, I've been and playing a lot of normal, or, or a lot of normal world recently, so I'm also getting weird moments. You are not alone. Okay, now the right over here, other arm, not the one I normally run to. Uh, I should just, I, I'm oh. not going to do it. I was going to go for the drop to the hand and like my normally wouldn't any percent, but not with you right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why Argus is terrible. Um, hello? Hate him. Why is it not hitting? 
because you didn't climb up. Dang it. Wait, you have to climb up? I thought you could just hit this. There, There's a trigger. Uh, so you have to climb up onto the level above oh, fine. the staircases that he creates. Um, so if you don't make it up to that thing, the weak spot to make him drop the sword doesn't actually work. That's fine. That's something that I uh, discovered. That's fine. I'll just do it this way. Many. This is what many, I do in. This is what I do in any percent normal. No, I missed the hand. Oh, I fell off. Oh no. Uh, I'm switching to intended. <laughs> <laughs> you have time, Nix. I do indeed have time. I'm over here. I'm over here. Oh my god, Wander. Can you stop getting smooshed? Now, one interesting thing that you may have picked up on before, uh, or maybe you just noticed it with uh, Solmas's arrow to Argus there, is if the Colossi aren't paying attention to you, or they're not um, aggroed to you, then their eyes are blue. When you get their attention, they become uh, that red-orange color. Argus, what the heck was that? I believe in you. I ran to the correct foot, and then he still stomped the wrong one. I feel like I have to get this to be able to catch up to you. I'm on the bridge. Now you can bridge. you can shoot the weak spot with an arrow. Yeah, I just forgot that you act you have to do the bridge. Because it's been so long since I've done <laughs> intended. You don't have to do the bridge for it to work. You just have to get up to that level that the bridge is on. Ah. Uh, That's where the trigger lies. Well, I'm up here now. <laughs> That's fair. If it works, it works, but... I'm just going to do the drop down to the hand from here. Okay. Do your shake. Should be good to Just grab the hand. Yeah, I'm trying this one more time, and if I fail, I'm just gonna go intended, because I know I can do intended quickly. I'm just going intended, because Wander hates me. Uh, I fell off again. That's okay. We'll go for the arrow now. Uh, the arrow just, like, phased through, it looked like. That spot is really hard to hit from the ground, I will admit. Especially when he's turning around like this. Yep. I have struggled many a time with trying to get that. I'm just gonna have him do this. Well, I tried. Come on. Come over <laughs> here. This is going very well for me. <laughs> it's clearly. Oh, it's are you going to turn? Gonna make, it's just going to make Malice that much more exciting. It is. Right. 
Wait, did I go to the one that I can't jump from? Yeah, I did. It's okay, this is totally intended. Whoa! What are you swinging your sword at, my guy? Because it sure as heck is not where I am. Even both of you. Thank you. <laughs> so many memes. It is April There's Fool's all Day. All of them. Every single one. Oh, where are you going? Pardon me. Pardon me. No. You have a really big head. Alright, that's rude. I'm just Yo, I'm just and, being honest. Try and hit me with your fist. Sir, sir, sir. No, why are Wander? you turning? Wander, unbutter your toes. Argus finally down for me. I am on to the arm currently. So many memes. So many memes. Argus was just extremely rude to both of us for some reason. And again, this is why I said this could be anybody's race with all these late colossus, because they can mm -hmm. all just like go horrible and you can lose five to ten minutes on them. So Nyx is right a, behind me right now. In a perfect world, um, you would get the hand first try, and you'd get the launch first try, and you, you do perfectly at Argus, but this is not a perfect world. And Dorman is a vengeful god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm on my way toward Malice. <laughs> oh no! That was so perfect, too. He did the animation where he pulls the hand away, yep. Oh dang it. Okay, well. He's dropped the sword, which is kind of what matters more. Yeah, and I just need to get him to, to try and hit you with the hand. Yeah, which isn't too terrible. Oh yeah, he's lining up for it now. He just needs to be a little bit closer. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, no, wrong attack. <laughs> Sometimes. Incorrect. He's very finicky about, like, the range that you need to be in as far as whether he'll do a stomp or he'll try to hit you with the hand. So it's very difficult for, like, us to really tell which attack we're trying to trigger. Yep. There you go. Wonderful. Just needed to stretch his hamstring out before he did that is all. That's it. Yeah, he'd gotten a okay. long workout from us today, so he just needed to, to give a little Ooh. stretch. He was cramping up a little bit. I'm definitely going to need to stretch after this, because I can't <laughs> sit in a chair properly. <laughs> Proper I swear, sitting. I need to, I need to get that? one of those crisscross chairs. Like, I got a gaming chair, because I was like, yes, I want a gaming chair. I feel like I can't even function in a gaming chair, because I, I, I just don't sit like a normal person. Alright, 
I'm still riding to Malice, but I I'm getting closer to the gate. I am loading into the temple. All it takes is one mistake here on Malice for uh, Nyx to catch up, so... It's Which, still... It's much closer than it looks at this point. Yeah. Especially playing across uh, in-game time, you know, load times and everything like that. Could, yeah. could yeah, almost be anybody's race still. For the purpose I don't know which of, one of us had more resets on uh, Argus either. For the purpose of um, recording this for an event, at an event we're just going to go with real time, but if we submit to a leaderboard, like I said earlier, we do have to wait through the like 10 minute long credits to see what our in-game time is. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to do that at an event. We'll just go by the RTA. <laughs> yeah, and since we're both running on um, PS5, the load times are comparable enough yes. to where RTA is usually pretty good. Although I would like to, even if we don't get it fully recorded, I would like for us to sit through till credits so that I can see what the IGT was. Oh yeah, we're absolutely going to check IGT because that's a... Uh, cool. That's just etiquette for race. We, we want to see what the IGT is at the end. But once we, we get the RTA, that's that's when we're going to stop our submission video for y'all watching. Mm -hmm. We do want to thank you for watching. I hope you've been enjoying our run. Yeah, absolutely. Um, by the way, something's about to happen with the horse. I tr trust us, the horse is going to be fine. The horse will be fine, although content warning for animal harm. Um, the horse does come back during the credits, so the horse is actually fine. The way I balled my eyes out the first time I played this game. At this scene. I was so upset. 10 out of 10. Best horse. Best horse. Mm. Agro, like, on a, but on a technical level, especially for PS2, like, she is... An incredibly good, like, technical horse because she yes. acts and reacts very similarly to, like, how a real animal would. And it's an incredible, like, feat for the, the developers to be able to create a AI that reacts correctly in these kinds of situations. Exactly. Which they went on to do way more with with their next game the last guardian yes oh my god trico is an insane feat of technical prowess and i am in awe every time that i see that game yeah no matter what you may think of that game trico is absolutely amazing game design mm-hmm Here, I'm doing the climb. Looks like you're about to reach the gate. Yep. I'm going to be going for what we call the PDO path, though, even though it does predate PDO. Uh, PDO 13 in the Shadow community kind of repopularized this in our, in our particular community of players. Mm -hmm. But we just call it the PDO path. If I'm not mistaken, I think he also optimized it, didn't he? I, uh, no, I think it was just... We gave I him could credit. be mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I could 100% be mistaken. I just thought that he had also, like, optimized it past what he's, it had written, he's originally always, been. He's always quick to correct us whenever we try and attribute it to him. He's like, I didn't do it. We're like, we know, but that's just the name. It's fine. All right. Mere PDO path. Let's see how this goes. Good luck. Watch you get it first try. Wow, you did. Yeah, there's there's no chance I'm catching up now unless you fall off Malice like five times. So what's happening here is normally Malice thinks you're supposed to be down in that pit and you're not supposed to be up here. So he's shooting in that pit. And uh, it gives us a chance to just walk right on the surface there. And we just kind of manipulated Malice's AI to shoot in areas where he doesn't, where we, we're not supposed to be essentially. And so we never get shot. Fun little Agro. trick. Agro! Oh, also, very fitting name. It's Malam. <laughs> Malam. Which is very similar to Malm, which is also similar to Bald. Or just call him Todd. Or just call Todd. him Todd. 
I just I, I made the mauled comparison because I was mauled earlier. <laughs> our our beloved friend Ruby Hart calls him Todd, so we'll call him Todd. But Trace does as well. Yes. I think I don't remember where it came from, but the first time I heard it was from Trace, and I was like, "Who is Todd?" And then I just <laughs> completely adopted it from Trace. Okay, let's go for the bow shot. I'm shooting for a sp uh, little, like, weak area right up here on the shoulder. Try and trigger an animation. Come on. There we go. And then once the arm is lowered enough, I'm going to take a little jump over. And what he's going to do is raise his arm up here in a second. And I'll use the momentum to jump over to the chest. And we're already up up to the head. Normally, there's a bunch of different weak points that you have to shoot at with the, the bow and climb around different arms and stuff. Uh, but we skip all of that by, by doing that particular setup. Yeah, Malice yeah. is definitely set up as an obstacle course intended. Yep. Oh, I'm getting meme stabs. Keep doing that. Keep getting them. <laughs> Alright, last stab. Alright, Malice is down. I'm gonna try and jump off the, into the water. Okay. Oh, you're going. Oh. I thought you were gonna go for the path. I can consistently get the first half of the path. I have to go into this bunker and then reset myself back onto the path towards the end. I can't get that middle section uh, to, like, the rolls that come right after the jump. Gotcha. Because I keep I, mistiming the jump. That's just my thing. I didn't quite get the jump off the back, so I landed on the floor and set up in the ocean. A shame. Aww. So this, this final part here, we're now... In the, the game itself, Dorman has now taken over Wander's body. So now we're Dorman, and these people have shown up, and they were trying to stop us, and they're gonna stop us from escaping as Dorman from these forbidden lands. But this is mainly just, you know, a hurry up and wait segment. One thing that we do do is we just press the triangle button, and we're gonna shoot a little bit of fire off. Just as tradition. But, uh, good luck there with Malice. Should be. Why do you always manage to hit me in this bunker? Always. I like to hide behind that pillar. Yeah, that's what I do. Like, you're supposed to be safe in the bunkers. Then Malice goes, no. You're not, actually. No, 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 sir. Uh, no, you sir. can recover this. You're good. I, yeah. Wow, this is taking a long time. What, what are they yeah. doing? <laughs> okay, they are running away. Okay. <laughs> they just take forever to run sometimes. Oops. They're more like sauntering away. Now, time they are so rude about it. Time for me is going to uh, stop when... I hit this pool, um, but I'm not going to stop the RT timer until Nyx is done on my side. And that's time for me. It's like 152 on the nose. Yeah, 152.03 was the time I got, although we probably started ours like just a second or two off. All right, good luck. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. That was wonderful. <laughs> that makes me so happy when you just don't do the things right, Wander. It's great. Once we're in the climb here, it's just kind of like the home stretch, so yeah. we try not to stress out too much. Setting up now for the shot on the shoulder. You want to stand in a very particular spot here to make it a little easier. There we go, nice. Thank you. 
I've gotten pretty good at those arrows because I have learned to just kind of like be patient with them. Like the whole go slow to go fast kind of thing. Yep. It yeah, took but... me a while to, to learn that habit, but once I did, it was very beneficial to me. Got the jump to the chest. Didn't fall off. That's good. It was a very strange way that Wander was holding on, though. <laughs> yeah, it did, did look a little weird. Thankfully, magnet hands work in strange ways. Oh, 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 no, no, that's not good. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you like this? Todd. 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 Okay, this is good. You're fine. Mini heart attack over. Good lord. Holy crap. I was like, dude, 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 come on now. I need you to work with me. No, not the meme stabs. Stop with the meme stabs, Wander. Just grab him. Just plant. You turkey. <laughs> yes, I did just call you a turkey. What of it? It works Plant great because like you're already butter toes. GG. Thank you. GG to you as well. So again, we're just gonna we're just waiting for Nyx to jump into the blue pool, and then that will be time for Nyx. While we're waiting for that, I just gonna say again, I'm Soulmass218, also just Lux. And uh, normally I speedrun any percent normal of this game, not mirror mode, but I'm, I'm hurting my brain and racing it against Nyx, who is the, <laughs> the, the person who only runs mirror mode, basically. So I, I think it's been an interesting idea, and it's, it's, I think it's definitely fairly even because of that. Yeah. Because you're, you're, I want to say, you're one, somewhere between 112 and 115 on the leaderboard for any percent normal, right? Any percent normal, um, on the leaderboard, it's a, a 110. My actual PB is a 109. Gotcha. It just yeah, wasn't, I'm... it wasn't verifiable because my, mm -hmm. my, my recording didn't save. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a 120 in like 30 seconds or something along those lines. So 120 and then some, some odd number of seconds. Yeah, so I'm like 10 minutes faster in the normal version, but in mirror mode, I'm severely handicapped against Nyx, who is the master of this mode, basically. I don't think you really are. I, I genuinely think the only thing that's getting you is muscle memory. And since I haven't been doing mirrored mode that much recently, because I've been doing a lot of races of any percent normal recently, I'm also struggling with those... Um, yeah, that thing. Those words. Hey, that just means Muscle you're gonna issue. you're gonna be all the more practiced if this gets accepted. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna practice this at all. I do not play this. <laughs> if this gets accepted, it will be the third time I've ever done this. Oh, if <laughs> this, this is... gets accepted, I'm absolutely <laughs> practicing like twice a week. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you if this gets accepted. <laughs> I don't uh, care. We'll see. This was faster than the first time I did it. It was faster than the first time you did it. That is true. And. Mm -hmm. Time. time that's not bad that was a what six minute difference um no because i was one, 152 i was one okay four minute difference then yeah that's not yeah. bad at all yeah like three and a half actually but yeah pretty good a Heck lot yeah. of a lot of that due to argus which i think you would have caught up with me if, if argus <laughs> didn't meme you if argus didn't meme me i absolutely would have caught up with you in that, in that <laughs> point in time uh, but that is going to be it for us on our submission. Thank you so much for watching. Zell, do you have any final words? And thank you again for commentary on this. Thank you for having me. It, it has been a pleasure. Uh, I always love watching Shadow be run, even if uh, I'm not too good at it myself yet. But thank you for having me. Uh, I do not particularly stream or anything, but please check out both of these two people. They are fantastic. And Nyx, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me uh, pretty much on all of the socials as Titan S Nyx. Um, but most of the time, you'll find me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Titan S Nyx. 
Uh, I stream on Fridays and Saturdays, uh, and you'll see me speedrunning mostly this game and then playing backlog streams of games that I want to play. So, yeah. All right, that's it for us. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.